All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about comparing fractions using the least common multiple. And the biggest thing to know about fractions is that they always have to represent equal parts. So if we have two fractions, like one half and three fifths, what does that mean? Well, that means if our whole is split up into two equal pieces, we only have one of those pieces. And here, our whole is split up into five equal pieces and we only have three of them. So this one's out of five pieces, this one's out of two pieces, definitely not equal parts. So the way we're going to use least common multiples, we're going to take our denominators, two and five, and we're going to find the multiples of those numbers. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I like to do about six and then stop and then check for my next number's multiples. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and I look and see if I have any common numbers, and I do. My least common multiple is 10, so that tells me that 1 half and 3 fifths can both be split up evenly into tenths. So how many tenths is 3 fifths? Well, 5 goes into 10 two times. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So 3 fifths now becomes 6 tenths. And one half, two goes into ten five times. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. One half now becomes five tenths. So which is bigger, five tenths or six tenths? We know that six tenths, which was originally three fifths, is our bigger fraction.